Hey, listen, I just want to give you guys a quick roll call, see where you guys are chiming in from. Listen, we have a, a team of people that's uh, unstoppable and have their mindset of being unstoppable. And I want to congratulate all you guys for being on this call. This call is real locker room type things. It's going to help you level up as far as your run uh, to go in chairman. That's what this call is designed for. Uh, you know, trading, you know, we all understand that trading and building your business is two different things. Uh, but you have to be on the products for one in order to level up. I'm a firm believer in doing that. But in order to, to, to level up to, to be what we call a networking professional, you have to sharpen your craft, just like, you know, Bruce Lee didn't become Enter the Dragon Bruce Lee after one or two karate lessons, right? You look at LeBron James and become one of the best ever by just, you know, dribbling the basketball a few hours a day, uh, you know, a week. No, it's you work on their craft. Serena Williams has become the greatest of all time, but not that blood, sweat, equity, and that 1,000 to 10,000 hours they're putting in to help sharpen that craft. So these calls are designed help you. So everyone who's supposed to be on this call is actually here who are supposed to be here. Don't fret on who's not on your team, not on this call, right? A lot of times we get on these calls, we say, man, I wish I had more of my team members on. Listen, the message is getting to the person who needs it, right? The message is getting to the person who needs it and more importantly, the person that wants it, okay? Drop a seven in the chat, that makes sense. Drop a seven in the chat, that makes sense. Anyone who already received this information, you're on this call for a reason. Not everybody wants to Go through uh, the pit of alligators with a pork chop soup to get success. Now repeat, not everybody's ready to go through a, a pit of alligators with a pork chop suit on to get success. So you guys are here. I know you, you, you like that one, didn't you, Tammy? Let's go. I got a ton of them. These calls, they can be a little bit uncomfortable getting on here after a day's work or going through a lot of stress, et cetera, et cetera. But hey, listen, you're here for a reason because we're all champions. And, and I want to tell you, 2020 was a crazy year for a lot of people. A lot of people had a crazy, crazy year because of COVID and things. Uh, but you know what I'm finding, guys? It's people I've talked to that have had the most incredible financial year of their life in 2020. And what I mean by that is the same situation that people are crying and moaning about, people win it at a super, super high level. As a matter of fact, I think I, 2020 might have been my best year financially. You know, and uh, that's in the midst of a pandemic. So why people are complaining, but people saying, hey, listen, you know, funds are tight or lost my job. Listen, winners make a way. Success cares nothing about excuses. Success doesn't care what you feel like today, your stomach hurting. Success doesn't care about what your money's looking like. Hey, the reason why you need to, to look at your money and your bank account and the lack of commas in it, that's the ultimate motivator, right? These calls aren't designed to motivate you. The lack of success or the lack of income, the lack of time freedom, those should be things that should motivate you guys every single day when you're feeding the ground running. It shouldn't be jumping on a leadership call like this and then afterwards say, oh, coach, I needed that. No, the ultimate motivator is your situation. If you're not happy with your situation, that should be the biggest motivator that you have to help you get up out of that situation, right? For me, I didn't have the time to do things I wanted to do. Now, your reason for, you know, for, for building your business can be totally different. But for me, man, I was sick and tired of giving somebody 60 hours of my life, even though we were wildly successful financially. You know, Tamara and I, we have multiple, you know, you know, 10, 15 properties, bringing in additional income. She's had a successful PR business since she was 21 years old. You know, I, I do a lot of things outside of our business to bring in income, trading, networking. You want to have five or six avenues of income coming in, right? But for me, I was sick and tired of not having the time freedom. So what I did is I took that burning desire to get out of that situation. And that was my ultimate motivator. It wasn't that I need to listen to you know, uh, you know, Les Brown. And it wasn't that I needed to listen to Eric Thomas to motivate me on a daily. What it was is me sitting up there at work, watching everybody drive their dream car going by while I'm giving somebody 50 hours of my life. That was the ultimate motivator for me. And I said, listen, I need to fight like a fish on the hook to get that lifestyle. 
So, you know, whatever you're going through right now, whether it's, uh, you know, financial, health-wise, mental, uh, depression, whatever it is you're going through, listen. And again, as your coach, it's my job to be harsh, okay? Can I be harsh with you guys today? Drop some sevens in the chat if you want to, if you want me to be harsh, if you want me to go in like hard in the paint today. Okay, listen, if you're going through hell, just don't make any pit stops. We love you, but if you're going through hell, just don't make any pit stops because it's never going to be convenient to build your business, right? And you know what I want to do real quick, you know, we have awesome partners actually on this call. You know, I thank each and every one of you leaders for being on this call today. And uh, I want to go through a couple of things that we'll bring on our other, other chairman leaders. Uh, just going to give you guys some gold nuggets. But listen, take a notepad out. Uh, get, get your, uh, this is what I call your library of stuff because there's going to be times when you're going to need to do calls like this for your squad. There's going to be times you need to motivate your groups and, uh, and give them the gold nuggets they need to be successful in that weekly pit stop or that monthly pit stop, whatever you do uh, to build your business. You got to have that pit stop that's going to help people go and finish this freaking race, right? So what I want you guys to do, I want to give you first off, Three rules of, of network marketing, okay? You want to title this three rules of MLM. Three rules of MLM, and this, this is just simple, okay? The first rule you're going to need to master, okay? Outside of just re regular building the business, you're going to master a few things. One thing you're going to need to master, the first one is you got to learn the law of starting to attract people to your business, okay? You have to learn how to start attracting people to your business, i.e. talking to them every single day, whether it's doing something on social media, I see a lot of these uh, millennials, yeah, every, everything they do. I mean, they can't eat a sandwich without them being on social media, without them going live and showing people eating a sandwich. I'm like, man, do you really have to show this? I mean, God, dog, you know, but people are so enamored with watching other people live. It is, it's, all, it's actually very sad, <laughs> but it's a great marketing tool, right? And they say, if you post something 10 times a day, people will really start to pay attention to what you're doing. So, you know, one thing I, I like about our business, that's all we are is attracting people to look at more of our information, right? Whether you're using a lot of different tools. I see a lot of people on this whole clubhouse thing right now where people get a lot of great conversations. I see a lot of people doing uh, uh, instant IG lives and Facebook lives. We have to start getting more eyeballs on your business, whether it's doing more Zoom calls and going Facebook live with it or IG live. You need to start getting more eyeballs on it because I can't tell you how many times people hit me up. L-Y, how can I talk to more people? You know, my list is, is kind of drying up. I Actually, that's terrible. Your list is never drying up. You're just not being, you're not applying the pressure like you need to. But um, make sure you guys are getting this exposure because you could do a Zoom call with 10 people and all 10 of those people are on IG Live. And next thing you know, you got you got 100 people looking at your presentation. So you got to start getting great at utilizing this technology. Heck, I fall victim myself. And I'm old school. I'm more more the, you know, belly to belly type guy. And uh, now it's, things have totally changed. But in networking and in any business model, uh, you got to get with change or change to get with you. Get, who would agree to that? Drop a seven in the chat if that makes sense. You have to get with change and change with the times or the times will change against you. So you got to, you know, if you're not great with social media, start learning. Start going to YouTube, learning social media, getting tips from people who have a lot of followers, whatever you have to do to sharpen your action because everything you do on a daily basis is a progression towards that worthy goal of being free. So what I do in my spare time, if I want to learn something, guess what I'm doing? I'm reading about it, I'm Googling it, I'm YouTubing it, anything that I wanna learn. Like I love history. Sometimes I wanna learn about, you know, Chinese history and I'll just Google some things. Like I was just Googling the first uh, black samurai of Japan. I was just intrigued by it. So I Googled it and I've been reading about that today. So anything you wanna learn guys is a click away. So if you wanna be great at what we do, start to learn how to sharpen your craft or how to attract more people to your business, right? Because remember, Going chairman is just having more eyeballs on the presentation than the average person. That's all chairman is. Remember, remember I told you guys, expose, uh, present, attract, expose, repeat steps one and two. So your first step is going to be to attract, attracting people to your platform. The second thing you want to put as one of your rules of MLM is to train them, okay? Train people properly on not only how to use a system, train people on, on navigating them on how to go through the products and services, don't just sign people up and then go witness protection on them, okay? Don't sign people up and you jump in the witness protection program on them because guess what? They chose you for a reason. That's why they joined. They 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 have, they put their faith in your hands because they saw something in you to uh, to help them level up. So make sure you, you're running them through the process, whether it's taking a few minutes or running through the IM.center. 
uh, whether it's uh, make sure there's people, whether it's uh, going them through, showing them navigate them through the go live, whether it's uh, showing them how to place trays, how to copy and paste trays. You have to show people and walk them through step by step because guess what? If you train them properly, now you don't have to take a million calls and people saying, how do you do this? How do you do that? So if you onboard them the correct way, they'll do the exact same thing. So you train people also on what to say to people. How many times have you guys jump on overviews with me or training calls or locker room calls with us and we show you guys how to overcome objections, what to say to people, you know, how to, how to shoot, you know, swing for the fences every single day, how to talk to three to five new people every single day, right? That's the key to going to the top is just exposing people and training people the proper way, just like the movie, The 300. You know, I'm big in movies. I love movies because they have a lot of leadership qualities in them. But the movie 300, you're talking about 300 Spartans going up against thousands of, 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 of these uh, other people they were going up against, right? And, uh, and, and three, uh, thousands of warriors, but 300, they were trained properly. So they were like, look, you know, hey, you know, we, we got this. You know, 300, you know, we're the best of the freaking best because we're trained properly. We have that mentality that, hey, listen, you know, 300 of us, we will take that any day, of the, any day of the week against thousands of people because we know what to do. So you want to make sure your team is equipped with how to, what, what, what to say to people, how to do th three or eight phone calls properly, how to invite people to calls properly, right? Spend a few moments with them on how to uh, set up your launch calls. Like I did a, a few calls with uh, one of the guys in our group uh, named Samuel, uh, who just hit P, uh, P600 on the way to P6, P1000. And I told him, I said, listen, man, put me on the phone with, with, with your new prospects, right? And he was saying I was having a problem getting people to uh, connect and set up their launch calls. I said, look, just put me on the phone with them. Put me on the phone with them. And guess what? Every one of the calls I've done, I've set up launch calls for them. And he watched me and listened to me right at work. So now next time around, he knows how to do the exact same thing. But remember, it's all duplication. So if you're not utilizing your upline and people who can help you with these calls, uh, you're really missing the boat because they know more than you, right? So you got to get great at being able to learn how to set these overviews up because remember, the key to the business is launch calls. If you're not doing launch calls, you're missing the boat. If you're not doing launch calls, guess what? Your team is not doing them either. And that's a bad feeling where you know that every day there's not a launch call going on. That's a terrible feeling, right? Because you feel like your business has emergency brakes on. It's not a great feeling. So remember, attract, train. Number three is to motivate them. OK, now, as a leader, we have to work on ourselves to motivate them with with not only our words, but our actions. You know, are, are your team seeing you present? Are your team seeing you train? Are, you, are your team seeing you do three eight phone calls? In other words, is your team watching you do the things that you're teaching them to do or you telling them to do? Right. Don't be one of those people walk left and talk right. Be one of those people. They say, you know what? This guy motivates me with his work ethic. And then we jump on a call. His actions or his trading motivates me. His leadership motivates me. Motivates me. His or her, the way they carry themselves motivate me. The, the way they work on their mindset motivates me. See, we as leaders, we want to help you become the leader you want to attract. So training people the, the right way eventually will help you get to that level of leadership where you have the position where you can motivate other people. Because sadly, you got people in the world who say, well, hey, Anthony, let me see what you do first. Before I, before I look at your business, right? And it's sad because, you know, why does somebody need some you to validate our business? I mean, honestly, who is the one person that's gonna validate a $7 trillion industry, right? So we gotta get great, and not only getting the testimonies, we gotta get great at being that person that your friends and family, your prospects, guess what? They're watching, they're watching you. So on social media, are you putting things out that's motivating people? On social media, are you putting things out that people say, you know what? I kind of like what, you know, Tammy is doing. Well, hey, I kind of like what James is doing. You know, I see a little bit of shift in what they're saying. Listen, you know, three years ago, she wasn't talking like that, right? Or two years ago, you know, Anthony, you weren't, you weren't talking like that on Facebook or social media, right? Now I see you talking about millionaire mindset. I see you talking about Elon Musk and following, you know, what's going on with Bitcoin. The whole language is totally different now because you're reaching new levels because you're following the leadership who has maybe what you want or where, or have been where you want to go, right? So as leaders, remember this, guys, first, three, let, three, three, uh, three pillars. One, attract people. Second, we train people. Number three, we motivate people, right? Remember, motivation is not always your words. Motivation can be your actions, right? Do me a favor. Drop some zeros in the chat if that makes sense for anybody on this call. We need to see if we're touching some people today. 
Because we're going to go in. We're going in today. I want to see if that makes sense to anybody on the call. Okay? So remember, attract. Or make sure you guys are writing this down. Attract, train, motivate. Okay? Those are three things you're going to have to learn how to master. Now, a couple other things you're going to need to know. I'm going to give you guys four steps on going chairman. Four key four key points of going chairman. And make sure you guys are writing this information down, okay? The first point is you got to have, first off, the intelligence to make the decision that this is what you want to do, okay? You got to have the intelligence that to make a freaking decision that this is what you want to do, okay? And I think everyone on this call was smart enough to make the decision. Otherwise, you wouldn't be on this call, right? So we already got that part knocked out is having the intelligence on knowing that this is what you want to do when you make a decision. When I say make a decision, I'm not saying just sign up and try it. I'm saying, you know what? I'm not going to try this. I'm going to do this. There's no try. There is no try. There's only do. So once you make that decision mentally, where burn the ship, there's no retreat type of mentality. Listen, it's already done. All you have to do from that point there is put in the work ethic. Uh, don't be scared. Don't be timid. Uh, believe in what you're doing. And don't quit. That's all it takes. Remember. Wherever you are in your business right now, guys, where if it's going slow, fast, or if it's in park, it's always better to walk slow than to stand still, okay? It's always better to walk slow than to stand still, okay? So the first thing we have to do is intelligence to make a decision. The second thing we need to do is have confidence. You got to have confidence. You guys, I've seen people on this call do presentations, and I know the confidence is it just exuding out of their pores. Like I watched Sean James do a presentation. Man, he bodies that call. I just got off the call with Chrissy Pips at three. Man, when I tell you, man, when I tell you, Chrissy, I've watched you grow like literally over the past few months. And I'm like, man, she's in the zone right now. I mean, you did an incredible, incredible overview. But see, your confidence is, is oozing through your pores because you know why? One, you made a decision. Two, you're tapped into, you're tapped into the matrix. You're tapped into every source. You're tapped into leadership. You tapped into the products. You tapped into learning every single day. That's why you're growing. That's where your confidence is getting bigger, right? Now, two things happen with your confidence. One, we got to start making money. We got to make sure we're either making money trading. If you're trying to go P600, P1000, we have to make sure that you're making money because you know why? These two things go hand in hand. One, you got to start making money because the more money you make, the more confident you will be, right? The more money you make, the more confident you will be. So the bigger your belief, the bigger your check. The bigger your check, the bigger your belief. Write that down. The bigger your bigger your belief, bigger your check. The bigger your check, the bigger your belief. They go hand in hand. So as you grow, it feels great to see people hitting new ranks. I can see them walking in, you know, kind of what they, they their swag is like totally different, right? The swag is totally different. I, I made a joke the other day. I said, man, when you hit, when you hit chairman, I was talking to one of our chairman leaders. I said, when you hit chairman. You, you, you could tell that it was just a total shift in you. I said, it was almost like the movie, The Ten Commandments. When Moses came down with the Ten Commandments, he had the whole perm, his hair was all done. He looked totally different. Like he walked up there with a, with a little cloak on. And when he got those Ten Commandments, he came down, his hair was all weak, you know, pooped up and wavy. And he had a nice, I mean, he was just like totally, because he had seen where he wanted to go, right? So was, his swag was totally different. And I see that in a lot of people. But remember, confidence goes with your check. The reason why a lot of people aren't real confident because you are running your business with the emergency brakes on. You're afraid to go in gear second. You're, you're afraid to go into second, third, and fourth gear right out the gates. People run too, too much on first gear with the emergency brakes on and you're not even putting gas, you're not even putting your foot, foot down on the pedal. You say, oh, I'm going to try this. You don't come in with the, with the mindset of this is going to be the thing that's going to get me out of where I'm at. It's a difference in just joining and having that mentality, that killer, that mamba mentality where this is going to work. It's not a question on if it's going to work or not. It's just how long it's going to take me to make it work, right? That's a big difference. So we have to not be afraid to come in right out the gates and, and take the emergency brakes off. Don't look in the rearview mirror. Listen, guys, don't worry about things that happened in your past. Don't worry about companies that didn't work. Don't worry about money you done lost trading. Don't worry about people who quit your business. The rear view mirror, too many times people live their life in the rear view mirror. That's why they're not successful. The windshield is always 100 times bigger than the rear view mirror because your future is always bigger and brighter than your past because you're in control. So let's remove the rear view mirrors like literally in our business and life, right? 
So we got the confidence. We got to build our confidence, right? So one, we have intelligence to make a decision. Secondly, we have to have the confidence to go out there and make it happen. Thirdly, what do we need? We need some ambition. We need some ambition. You got to be ambitious. Like when you jump in and you get into corporate America, right? And you see the manager got the nice car, got the nice suits, and you start an entry-level position, you're like, man, man, what would it be like to get in that position in management, right? And you're like, I'll, I'll do, man, I see myself there in three or four years, whatever it is, but you're trying to do great at that job because you're ambitious moving up the corporate ladder, right? It's no different over here. When you see people in our company making a half million a month, 750,000 a month, 50,000 a month, 100,000 a month, that should be your ambition that, you know what? If this guy, Mr. Young, can hit Chairman 50, why can't I? I'm no different. I'm no different. You guys hear me say all the time, they're no different. People hitting Chairman 50, Chairman 100, all that, they're no different than you. Absolutely not different. All it is, is having the ambition to go out there and make it happen. Because see, for me, I've always had this type of attitude. I never forget when I first got into the industry of, uh, I was one of the top leasing managers for Ford, right? For, for 20 years, I was the top at what I did. But when I walked in, I didn't know anything about what I did. And this is the kind of mentality you want to have. I didn't know anything about sales. What I did know is I knew one of my friends was making 200 grand a year doing it. That's all I needed to know. I said, if this guy could do it, oh, I know I can do it, right? So I didn't know anything about sales. When I walked into that place, the first thing I did, I want you guys to have this type of mentality. The first thing I did, I said, listen, man, who's the top person here? I said, who's the top person here? And, uh, and what I did is I studied them for two weeks and I went up to that guy. I said, listen, man, you, you don't get comfortable in that seat. I'm coming. See, I came in there as a new person, didn't know anything about sales, didn't know anything about what I was doing, but I told him I'm coming for the top spot. And guess what? Three months later, top spot, 20 years in a row. 20 years in a row, I was a top spot. I wasn't a person that was playing around and playing games. I'm like, look, if somebody's gonna take 60 hours of my life a week, oh, they gonna pay me handsomely for this. They paying me handsomely for this. I'm not coming to play games. I'm not coming for glee clubs. I'm not talking for social clubs. I'm coming to step on the freaking neck, right? And guess what? I was tops at what I did, but I didn't walk in there timid. I walked in there with one ambition, two, I was confident because I knew that where I was financially at that point, I said, look, I'm not making the type of money I need. I'm watching these guys making the money I dreamt of. Like I used to dream of making six figures, right? Then once it happened, now I'm dreaming of seven figures, right? And just, you started to elevate. But when I walked in, I, was, I couldn't rub two nickels together. I was robbing Peter to pay Paul. I was so broke, if I wanted to pay cash for a car, they probably need, I said I need a cosigner. I was so bad financially, credit, everything was shot. Let me repeat that, this is for you. This for you, Anthony. My credit was so bad and my, and my money was so bad. If I had to pay cash for a car, they say I need a cosigner. That's a pretty dire situation. But anyway, what I'm telling you is I, I had the ambition and the confidence to be number one. So when I came into networking, guess what I did? I didn't know anything about networking. I knew the people were making incredible, credible money. But what I did is I said, look, who's the top person? Who's the person making all the money? Who's the, people, who's the person that's doing it the best of the best? I was following a guy who was my mentor for eight years. Guy made millions and millions of dollars. Now, what I did is I watched him. I studied him. And I told him, I'm going to say, I'm going to be one of your best leaders that you ever created. I didn't know anything about networking. The guy that brought me into networking is in the MLM cemetery. The guy that brought me in, in networking went into the witness protection program. All I needed was for him to give me the opportunity, and I was ready to kick in the freaking door. Right? Now, when I, when I jumped on and did that, meet, uh, came to that business, I didn't know how to do it. I was scared to death to talk in front of people, like literally death. <laughs> I was scared to death to talk in front of people. But I knew in studying successful people that guess what? Hey, the person with the microphone, the person with the clicker is the person going to get paid quicker. Right? So what I did is I said, look, I got to get out of my comfort zone. I'm studying the best of the best. So I have to emulate and do the best of the best. And if I don't know what I'm doing, I'm going to fake myself out mentally and I'm going to do it just the way they did it. So for some of you guys and gals on the call waiting to be the best presenter, waiting to, you know, I got to make some money before I tell people about the business. No, just jump into your Andre Campbell type mentality. 
Jump into your Curtis Branch mentality. Jump into your Chrissy Pips mentality. Jump into your David Emanite Emanite mentality. Jump into them for their thought process for a second and go after it. Don't have to wait to be the best of the best. You just take action. Like, see people like, you know what? Go to the gun range. You know, I'm going to give them a gun clean. I'm, you know, aim first. You know, ready, aim, fire. You need to come in like fire, aim, ready. Not aim, ready, fire. You need to come in like fire, aim, ready. Because guess what? We know the products work. We know the education works. Why not go all in? Why not go all in? So we have intelligence to make a decision. Secondly, we have the confidence. Third, we have the ambition. And lastly, you got to have the drive, guys. Listen, we can give you the motivation till we're blue in the face. We can give you motivation on what we do on the daily. We can give you motivation on our situations. But listen, guys, you got to have the internal hard drive that's ready to go get this thing. I can't put a V12 engine in your, in your body. I can't put a V12 engine in your body right now. You have to change the engine. You got to change the gas, the, the tires, the, the internal or the car to get you faster where you want to go. You have to have that yourself. I can't turn on your pilot light. Your pilot light has got to be burning big at all times. So you don't need me to, again, motivate you. You got to have to drive to be successful. Like, what should your drive be? You know what your drive should be? Oh, let me see. Let me pick on somebody. Your drive, uh, let me pick on somebody. Bernice. Bernice, your drive should be, I'm the chosen one in my freaking family to get on the other side. Martin, I'm the chosen one that's going to get us out of where we are right now. I'm the chosen one that's going to get those dream cars out the magazines and put them in my driveway. It's my fiduciary responsibility, stability, y'all know what I'm talking about, to be the person in my family that people look up to financially. Because I don't know about you guys, but growing up, I didn't have the financial template. I didn't have people who were had it going on like that, where I said, you know, I want to be like uncle so-and-so. I want to be like this person. I didn't have that. What I did have was enough of that in my family to say, you know what? I want to be 360 degrees different than all of y'all. That's what I did have. So even though I didn't have those financial blueprints to follow, what I did is I knew what I wanted. I knew I wanted more out of life. So I said, you know, whatever they do, I'm doing it totally different. They go left, I'm going right, right? But I want to follow people who are successful. That's why, again, you got to find mentors. You got to find people who have that, that, that they just got that it factor. They got that factor that just motivates you. Like, look, man, I can't tell you how many people I walk up to that, I, that I've trained over the years. And, and they say, man, I, I just can't thank you enough, man, for the leadership you give me. You, I was at a meeting 10 years ago and you said this and you still at it. And, you know, those type of things motivate me because I know I'm, I'm getting somebody to unplug the hard drive. Right, just like your phone needs a new iOS system when the update comes, some of us need a new iOS system mentally. Some of us need to update. Some of us need to update. <laughs> right? Do me a favor, drop drop some sevens in the chat if, the, if 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 we dropping bombs tonight. I need to know who we touching. Drop some sevens if we touching some folks. Some of us walking around with a virus right now mentally. That's why we have to update the software. We got to update the software. So following people who are successful, following people who have what you want, following people who are chairman, following people who are beast traders, whatever it is that's, that's making you excited. You got to follow these people, right? You got to have that drive. Like, listen, if you, I'm going to tell you guys something. If you knew what it felt like on Fridays, getting that chairman 50 pay residually, you would run through a brick wall to get it. I'm just telling you right now. If you knew what it felt like on Fridays, getting that chairman 50 pay, you would run through a brick wall to get it. You would do everything except put a ski mask on and, and go beat somebody up to make it happen. And trust me, that feeling <laughs> is something that, you know, I gotta, I literally have to chisel the smile off my face on Fridays. But you know what? I laugh because I say, this wasn't hard at all. See, the business is simple. The hard part is the internal mindset that we all have. See, many of us, the reason why we are we want to be, because we carry all the baggage from stuff that happened before, and we don't believe enough. We don't have the ambition enough. We don't have the drive enough. But guess what? Just like, just like I said, the iPhone has a new iOS system. You can change that anytime, because guess what? You're in total control. You're in total control. So wherever you are right now financially, 
wherever you are with your trading, wherever you are as far as your chairman run, you're exactly where you're supposed to be. You're exactly where you are supposed to be based on decisions, based on the lack of belief, based on listening to the naysayers. Like Chrissy said something earlier today that just blew me away. She, she peeled it back to the white meat today. Let me tell you what she did. She said, she said, don't take financial advice from someone who you wouldn't trade financial lives with. Never repeat this, guys. Do not take financial advice from someone you would not trade financial lives with. And I've always said that because I had a meme that I want to show you guys. And this meme here that I had was from uh, 2000, 2016. And it says, only take advice from someone you're willing to trade uh, places with, right? Only take advice from someone you know you're willing to take trade places with. So stop getting your advice from people who are not successful. Stop getting your advice from people who don't know anything about trading and telling you it won't work. Stop getting advice from people who are driving the same kind of car you drive, live in the same neighborhood you live, wear the same clothes, watch the same stuff on TV, hang out at the same places. Let me tell you guys something. When you change a hard drive, you got to, you got to, you got to prune the tree. What I mean by that, you prune the tree, that's how it grows. You got to, it's like women. When you get those, those, those edges and you got to cut them off so your hair can grow faster. Y'all with me, ladies? What y'all call those? Um, I forget y'all call them. But anyway, y'all know what I'm talking about. Uh, Split ends. I knew that. I was just testing. It, okay. I knew that. I was just testing. It, okay. Uh, but a tree is the same way. You, you cut off the dead ends of the, of, the, of the limbs. But get this. When you prune a tree, it's able to absorb stuff better. So it grows faster. So in your lives right now, some of you guys need to get out the clippers and, and just clip some folks off. Some of the people that's in your life, they're not, they're not one conducive for your success. Secondly, there are a lot of people who you think are cheering for you aren't, right? So find people that make way more money than you and hang around them. Don't be the person in your group that makes the most money. Don't be the person because you're coming to a new position in your life right now and you make more than all your friends, find new friends. We all love our friends, but guess what? Everybody has a season. Everybody's not gonna be the person that energy that's gonna give you that G-force is gonna push you to the top. Like I love talking to people and having conversations, not where we're having conversations about 50,000 a month. I'm talking to people who can have conversations like 50,000 a day. That lets me know that I got a lot of work to do. That lets me know that, you know what? Why well, I think I got it going on? Listen, man, you a small fish in this thing, bro. You got to step it up. So people would think if you're a chairman 50, that you're going to rest on your laurels and put the emergency brakes on, just grab the remote control, watch TV all day. No, guess what? I work just as hard as if I'm a P150, as a chairman 50. Because you know what? I believe in what we're doing. I believe in you guys. And it's not one person on this call that has ever, ever needed me to do anything for them, whether it be a 3A phone call, a message, uh, jumping on the training with them. There's not one person on this call that has reached out to me and I didn't help them. Because I love what I do. I love getting the results. I love to see people winning at a super high level, okay? So remember guys, the three law, three rules of MLM, one is attract. Second is train. Remember, attract, train. Number three is to motivate. Those are the three major rules of MLM, okay? Make sure you guys get this in your notebooks because you're gonna need this one day. Uh, the four things you need to know to go chairman, one, have the intelligence to make a decision. The intelligence to make a decision. Number two, have the confidence to go out there and make this thing happen. Number three, have the ambition to see yourself at the top and, and be willing to do this thing beyond any means necessary, in my good brother Malcolm X's words, right? Number four, you gotta have the drive. You gotta have the drive to go out there and fight like a fish on a hook to go out there and make this thing happen, okay? Listen, guys, did you guys get some good info from me today? Because listen, if you like what I got to say, listen, my partner, the, the legend, the, the legendary man himself, first off, who in the call right now, drop a seven in the chat. If you feel like I touch your soul today, if I touch your soul today, drop some sevens in the chat. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. See, these weekly pit stop calls, guys, are going to help you. And some of you guys right now are thinking to yourself, like, man, I got one or two people on my team and you down to yourself. Listen, guys, you're exactly where you're supposed to be. All you got to do is sprinkle a little more gasoline on your efforts. Put a little more gasoline on your efforts, right? 
And that's a, I always use a saying, I'm cooking with gasoline. I'm cooking with gasoline on the daily. So make sure you guys are putting in the work. You got to talk to new people. Don't make excuses. Well, I went through my list. Listen, there's people turn to 18 every single day. You ain't gone through everybody in the world. So stop making that as an excuse. Winners make a way, losers make excuses eight days a week. So I don't like talking about excuses, about why this, why that. No, excuses, everybody got them. And guess what? They all make no sense. Only you can go out there and get what you want is people who went in in third world countries who are smashing this thing out the park. Why can't you in a society where you have all the, the money's right, opportunity's right, everything, but you running and, and playing around with opportunity? People starving for just a way out. They're starving for just an opportunity to go out there and get it. I didn't have to know everything about trading and everything about this business when I started. All I need to know is they was making seven trillion a day and uh, it's been around 2000 years. Hey, common sense, somebody get paid. Just put me in. I don't need to be the research person, the detail itis person, the person who got to know everything about the company first before they start. No, I knew that people were getting paid. I just got to figure out how to get the skills to get it. That type of mentality we need to have. Stop being these people who's rather trying to convince people about your business. Stop trying to beg people to, to run across the finish line with you. Again, you we pass a baton to people, some people drop it. That's okay. Pick that baton up and give it to somebody else. Somebody's looking to run a race with you. Somebody's looking to run the race. Somebody's going to drop the baton. We may not win the race. We may come in last place, Anthony. But it's about getting to the finish line, bro. Think about the person who trains for the Olympics. Get up at five every day, train four hours a day for four years. Think about that person coming in last place in their race. <laughs> Think about that. For four years, they would got up at five o'clock, dieted right, worked out right, did everything they were supposed to do, but they came in last place. You still on the world's biggest stage. Just finish and represent. So you represent your country, represent your freaking families, guys. Represent your families. Have some pride in what you're doing because trust me, your family, they gonna need to see some progression. They gonna need to say, you know what? It was all worth it, Sean. Sharita, it was all worth all you maybe missing the calls, missing uh, recitals, missing barbecues, missing, missing holiday events. It was all worth it because if it did work out for you. But if you, if you quit or if you play around with it, that means it was all for nothing, guys. That means it was all for nothing. And for me, I'm not going to take hours of my life away from my family if it's not monetizing, if it's not helping me get to where I want to go. And listen, guys. It's an honor. Like, listen, honestly, it's an honor to lead you guys to the right path. It's an honor to tell you guys in this war against poverty, I'm going to tell you where all the landmines are. I'm going to tell you where all the landmines are so you can navigate through this field without getting hurt. But we got to build this first, guys. It all starts here. So what I'm going to do real quick, I'm going to bring on my good friend and business partner, Chairman Tim, and we call this man the SPX King. Like, listen, there's nobody better. This guy's making sure that everybody eats. When I say eats, they are not eating ramen noodles, guys. These guys are eating steak and potatoes from this man right here. So I want to bring on my good friend, business partner, chairman, 10 leader, and just really, really just one of the most solid people you ever want to meet. Selfless, super successful, always super humble, but always there for the team. Let's give it up for our main man, Mr. Andre Campbell. Drop some sevens in the chat for my main man, Mr. Andre Campbell, the S&P 500 King. Let's go. Let's get this man some love. Let's give this man some love, guys. As a matter of fact, let me give him some theme music, too. Let's go get it. Let's get some theme music. Wow, after that call. Let's go, Andre. <laughs> what's up, Coach? What's up, Coach? Hey, what's up? Wow. Man? Powerful, 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 powerful. Uh, first and foremost, I'm going to say um, Happy New Year to everybody. I know we got people on this call from all over the world. I want to shout out all of our chairman leaders, platinum leaders, all our customers, everyone on this call, everyone on our team. But first and foremost, everybody put a 10 in the chat for Mr. Lawrence Hurricane L.Y. Young. <laughs> Powerful call. He went in, he did his thing. And I'm so glad this man is my sponsor. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you know, I've been involved with companies where you know, you sign up with someone, but that leadership, that passion just wasn't there. I'm sure we all appreciate him and Tamara. 
Tamara Young, his wife, and let us let him know. Let him know. Tins, tins, tins. I see tins coming in there. Awesome call. Awesome information. I was there taking down copious notes. And uh, one thing that Lauren said that really resonated, you know, about not living in the rearview mirror. We just came out of 2020, and everyone I know is ready for 2021. And I believe that everyone that we can all make 2021 our best year ever. Uh, as he said, some of us, 2020 was a great year. And if your 2020 was not 2021, I say 2021 is the one. Let's make it sure it's the one. Now, um, I love these calls because we have a chance to get together. And I was talking to someone today, uh, Chrissy Pips, and we got people all over the place. And sometimes right now we're not traveling, we can't get together. But these calls, the purpose is, is for us to engage and just give a little information, maybe a little insight something to help you on your journey. Now, one thing, once again, I know on this call, we got a lot of dynamic leaders. We have a lot of up and coming leaders. And I want everyone to understand this 2021 thing. I believe, how many people we have on this call right now? We have 65 people, right? Everyone in the next 90 days should at least, at least get to platinum 5,000. Andre YP 5,000. And here's the reason why, right? That's P1000, that's 1,250 a week, 60K, you know, earning a year, right? And I'm in the US. A lot of people coming out of the university, out of college with degrees, are not earning $60,000 a year. I'm gonna repeat that. Many people, two degrees, matter of fact, aren't earning that income. Now, I know we all wanna get a chairman, right? And as leaders, as winners, we never make the minimums or maximums. So if I'm saying P P5, you should definitely be going for Chairman 10. But at least you should say, you know what? My goal is to crush P5,000 in the next 90 days, 90 day run, 90 day blitz. January, February, March, get it done, right? Now, what I wanna do in the chat, if you believe, if you're not already there, that you're gonna hit P5,000, put a 5,000 in the chat. Only if you really believe you're gonna get there. Not everybody's gonna get there, not everybody believes. Oh, okay, I see a lot of 5,000, a lot of belief. Okay, a lot of belief, a lot of belief, a lot of belief. And what I want everyone to understand, every single person on this call can do it. I know some of you are very close to doing it, some have already done it, but everybody could do there. Another reason why I think it's important to hit P5,000, here's why, right? When I came into I am, and I got the call from coach, I signed up, you know, I was running multiple different businesses, traditional businesses, employees, overhead, up, down, sideways, doing different things like that, right? Uh, some networking things going on. But what I find is this, right? A lot of people are trying to get free. They're trying to get their freedom. Hey, if I can just get rid of this job, get rid of this, you know, two jobs, three jobs, right? So I can have the freedom to live my life and do what I want to do, right? A lot of people, they join the company. They join the company believing that trading is easy. They believe they're going to become a Curtis Cobain, you know, <laughs> in, in 30 days and begin earning an incredible amount of money that reduces the stress and pays the bill. Now, we know from experience, I know from personal experience, it does not happen that easy. It doesn't happen like that, right? So most people come with a big expectation. They lose money. They blow accounts. They blow another account. And then what? They give up and quit. At that point, they don't want to talk to their sponsor. They think it's a scam. They hate Chris Terry. They hate everything. And they begin to have a negative mindset towards the whole thing of trading or even networking, right? But here's what I found, right? If you get that additional money coming in, it lightens the load. It lightens the burden. It takes away the pressure. Now you're not trying to flip $200 into $20,000 in one week through non-farm payroll, trying to trade the news, you know, trying to catch the news. Well, I'm going to hedge this thing. I'm going to go long and short. One is going to work out. <laughs> Who's ever done that? I, I've done it. And then you get whipsawed. It knocks you out long, knocks you out short. And you're like, what the heck is that? <laughs> don't try to <laughs> whipsaw trade the news. I don't do it, right? So here's what happens, right? Myself, personally, when I hit the rank of P5000, I was like, okay, I got some breathing room now. Now I can still focus in on this thing and go to the next level. And it also affected my trading because I wasn't just trying to pressure over trade, revenge trade, 
over leverage, trying to build an account so fast. As I speak to people every day, you know, I understand the pain. I understand what you're going through because everybody wants to trade standard lots, right? Everybody wants to get, you know, six figure, seven figure account, right? We understand that, right? That's right. Right now with um, HFX, we've got people literally, they're literally on the emotional roller coaster where they're so zoned in, they're burning themselves out, trying to squeeze out of the market what's not always there, right? Sometimes the market's not good for trading. So I believe if you get the P5000, you know, you may love what you're doing in your profession. You may love your job. You may not want to leave your job. Me, I wanted to get away from those jobs. As a matter of fact, I've been self-employed since 2002, and it was not always easy. But you know what? The freedom of not having to get up to an annoying alarm clock, fight traffic, go to someone's job punch o'clock, that's been the most amazing thing to me, right? When you get the P5000, that extra $1,250 a week, pay some bills, and now you have additional money to put in that account to help you grow that account faster. Because every single week, you can add, add. If you got a good job, you're earning good money, great. Take that $1,250, put it in there, and now begin to grow that account faster. And by doing what? By simply sharing great information and helping other people. If coach didn't give me a call and tell me about this, I wouldn't be here. A lot of other people wouldn't be here. And the same for almost everyone in this call. Someone thought enough of us to say, hey, you know what? Take a look at this opportunity. You know, I made a post the other day, and I say, the average person is looking for a guarantee, right? But the person with the wealthy mindset, all we're looking for is an opportunity, the opportunity. So when someone comes up to me and says, Andre, you know, are you, are you guarantee I'm gonna make money? Is it gonna work? Swipe coin, swipe or whatever it is. If I sign up for this, am I gonna make X amount of dollars, right? I tell them, we can't guarantee you anything, right? Because what, we all know trading depends on the individual, on the person. Can they follow directions? Can they follow rules? And one thing we found out about adults, <laughs> adults have a hard time at following directions, right? That's a fact. You know what? I'm living proof of it. Adults have a hard time following directions. You tell an adult, do A, B, and C. What about D, E, and F, right? That's why children can learn to trade systematically more proficiently than adults because kids can follow basic instructions, right? So once again, getting to these ranks, taking the pressure off, and hey, if Chris Terry, they're paying the money out, why not get a piece of that bag? I tell people all the time, you should be doing one or both, either becoming the best trader you can, building the biggest team you can, or doing both simultaneously. And now in 2021, with I am, because of all the systems, all the educators, you know, everybody put a big one in the chat for Curtis Cobain Branch, you know, a member of our team, phenomenal trader, phenomenal leader, phenomenal educator. Everyone should be plugging in, getting the info. I spoke to someone um, last week and I was blown away. This person's following Curtis and the lady is telling me she's putting money in this crypto. She's doing that, building a portfolio with this, doing that. And I'm just amazed, blown away. That's what we have here as a part of this academy, as a part of this team. And it's important for everyone to plug in, get the information, and expose that also to the other people in your team so they can know. A lot of people, ladies and gentlemen, don't know what's going on. We talk to people every day, and I'm amazed with all the information, all the Zooms, all the Telegram groups, all the chats, all the Facebook groups. Everybody has a Facebook group. Everybody has a Telegram. I'm like, how don't you know what's going on? I mean, the information's out here, but some people do not know what's going on. And one of the reasons that is, is because some people, and this applies in network marketing, not just I am, right? What happens is they come in, they begin trading, and they've been trading for two weeks, and now they become the wolf of Wall Street, and now they have all of their people in this little small bubble. So guess what? Everyone on this team, this organization, they're all going around in a circle based off the information contained in that small circle, not being exposed to everything else that's out there. And that happens with trading and with building. You know, I, I spoke to someone the other day and they contacted me and they were asking some questions about trading style and whatnot. 
And these people were giving out information that was just totally false, totally wrong. I say, how successful are your people? Well, not really successful. And I say, I understand why, because it's like the blind leading the blind. When we have over how many educators? Oh, how many educators do we have now? 200? I don't know. I mean, it's through the roof. We have all these like, educators. I think it's like 160. People. How many? I think it's like 165, I think. Over 100. And customers are paying the company for these educators to have access to them. Ladies and gentlemen, use the information, use the system, use the educators. I know some of us are becoming proficient in our trading. I know some of us are coming up with our own strategies, own techniques, and that's fine, that's well and good. But remember this, right? The average new person, when they come in, all of this looks like hydroglyphics, right? And when people are confused, they do not take action. When people are confused, they do not take action. That's why you gotta kiss it, keep it super simple, you know? I was speaking to Chrissy Pips today, and we we're talking about DeLorean. The DeLorean is a rule-based system. When this does this, does this, you do that. It takes out the subjectivity. It takes out my guessing. Well, what about if I think if I do this, I do that, you know? That gets us in trouble with trading, right? And all this comes down to repetition, repetition, repetition. Coaches touch on a lot of great facts, right? And you know what? Everything that coaches went over, if we don't practice and put it into work, it, 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 it it doesn't, it does no good. It does no good. Most people that I've seen, not only in trading, not only in building, in life, they quit usually just before the magic happens. We lost some soldiers in 2020. Uh, God bless the dead. The great late Ahmed Jama Yangle, uh, he went on. We lost some people because of death. Some people got lost because of their mindset. Some people just gave up and quit. Some people just said, you know what? I'm just gonna say, boss, whoever it is, I'm gonna come keep punching this time clock. I'm gonna give up on my hopes and dreams, my goals. I'm gonna give up on that dream car. I'm gonna give up on that house, that vacation. I'm just gonna settle for living the rest of my life, average and ordinary, average and ordinary. Nothing wrong with that if that's what you really want in life. However, there is an opportunity for all of us to be extraordinary. And here's the key thing, right? Andre, what does it take to be extraordinary? It's a few key minute things. Coach touched on some of them. Some people think, well, you know what? I gotta have the best upline. I gotta have the best PowerPoint. I gotta have the best strategy. I gotta have the best indicator. I gotta have the best this, the best that, the best this. And because that's the mindset, guess what? <clears throat> They're always getting ready to get ready. Well, I'm gonna go chairman when? I'm going to go P5,000 if I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, and they, I'm going to themselves <laughs> to going nowhere, right? <laughs> Until they give up and quit. Ladies and gentlemen, listen, <clears throat> building is easy. Re really, chairman, it, it, it's, it's not hard. Coach, it's really not hard. Trading is hard. Trading is hard. Trust me, I know. You know if you trade. Trading is hard. I trade the SPX 500. SPX has been in a range, up, down, false breakouts. We're still making some money on it. We're still making some money on it. Um, Bitcoin, put a B in the chat for Bitcoin. God bless Bitcoin, uh, crypto, and whoever created Bitcoin. Amazing, amazing, many. If you're not making money right now on Bitcoin, you, you need to get with the program. You need to plug in. You need to understand because trading Bitcoin right now is like shooting fish in a barrel. Shooting fish in a barrel. Crypto, you can pretty much just flip, you know, and hit the buy button the last few weeks, and you're going to catch the wave and make some money if you're going with the trend. Now, if you're out there counter trend trading, you know, going against the grain, you better be good at what you're doing. That's a whole other thing. Andre, you call the sell trade. Yeah, we want it, but that's, that's another thing, right? But go with the trend, right? But so once again, trading is hard. Building is easy. Build the residual income at the same time. Well, Andre, I don't want to build. I want to talk to people. I'm tired of rejects. I'm tired of all that. That is fine. Well, you know what? If you think that's hard and you think trading is easy, you may want to reconsider what you're doing, right? Once again, do both. Now, this is one of the things I want to say in the next 90 days, right? Let's all commit to going to another level. I listen to Coach. I feel like a broke chairman. He's come out 50,000, 100,000. I feel like a broke chairman. 
But who wants to be a broke chairman in the chat? Put a B in the chat if you at least want to be a broke chairman, right? <laughs> be a broke chairman and rich on the rich on the charts. Okay, we're gonna get it both, right? We're gonna keep this thing so simple. I had a PowerPoint I was gonna put up and go through a few things, but I'm not even gonna go there. I'm gonna freestyle this thing. We're gonna keep it very simple. First thing is this, everybody. First thing is this, right? Remember, one thing I learned when I had my own company, my own MLM back in 06, you know, I used to speak to leaders every day, different people. And I was, a, this, was this was something that amazed me, right? And because I was a CEO, guess what? I was a person now like coach, like many of our leaders, some of you can relate. We bear the burden and the brunt of hearing everybody's fears, everybody's problems, everyone's complaints, right? 90% of the calls I receive, Andre got a problem with this, you know, the website or this person cross recruited or I blew my account or the, they didn't come on the Zoom right or the, all the issues for us to resolve, right? That's the majority of the calls I receive, right? Not complaining, as a leader, we sign up for that, right? So if you're a leader and you're progressing to become a leader, accept those things, right? Accept it. Most people need help. But one of the things that amazed me, right? People are coming to me every day telling me all their problems, all their issues, right? This is what I want everyone to understand. 80% of the things that we worry about are never gonna happen. You might, you might wanna write that one down. 80% of the things that we worry about are never gonna happen. Well, what if this doesn't happen? What if that's, well, I hit P600. What if I fall back to P150? What if I blow, what if, what if, what if, right? 80% of those things are not going to happen. The other 20% is going to happen anyway. It's going to happen regardless. So why even worry about it? That's the 80 20 rule. 80% will never happen. The other 20% is going to happen anyway. Don't waste your time, your energy, your emotion, your health worrying about it. Let it go. Uh, last year, I had people died. Uh, people cry. So many things went wrong in 2020. But you know what? I understand that I'm either in a problem, I just left a problem, or guess what? A problem is on its way to visit me. So when the problem comes, you know what? I don't give up on trading. I don't give up on doing calls. I don't give up on helping people. I don't give up on doing three-way calls, get mad. Well, because this didn't go right. If everything is going right, everybody's happy people hitting the ranks, all the trades are winning, everybody's happy. But guess what? You can tell the real leaders, the real winners when everything is going wrong. That's when you see who's stepping up, when everything is going wrong, you know? Cause guess what? People are either doing one or two things in this whole space, right? They're either producing or they're politicking. Andre, what do you mean by that, right? <clears throat> When things are going wrong, people are politicking. Well, did you hear about this with a complex? Did you hear about this person did that? Did you hear this person quit? Huh? This person blew their account. This person, I don't like the way they do a presentation. They're just constantly talking about the negativity, what's going on in their lives and the company. That's it, right? People who are producing whole different vocabulary, right? Whole different mindset. Because what? We're winning. You want to make sure that you and your team, you're on the producing side, not on the, po po <laughs> the politicking side. Well, why did they do the call this way? Well, why did they do the presentation? Well, I, I got my people on the eight o'clock call and they forgot to mention this. Well, I, everything, what's wrong with the company? Well, Chris Terry came on the call, he didn't shave. I didn't like that. Things that have nothing to do with them winning and earning a living, right? So make sure you're on the producing side. It's very easy to get caught up. That's why I don't waste a lot of time on the phone with a lot of people, unless they're talking about solution oriented, right? If you have a problem with your team, guess what? Get with the leaders, get with the parties, bring them together, sit down. Hey, you know what, Billy, Bob, Pam, here's the issue. Let's deal with it so we can go on and do bigger, better things, right? Most of these teams, organizations, unfortunately, they fall apart from the inside. This person didn't like what this person did or said, and now resentment begins to fester. Now it begins to spread around the team. People begin to talk about it. And guess what? People begin to take sides. Okay, I'm on this side, I'm on her side. And what happens? It implodes. We want to go into 2021, everybody on the same sheet of music. We should have two goals, right? To build the biggest trading account you can, get as much money out of these trillion dollar markets and find your spot on that comp plan 
that you want to land on for that residual reoccurring income that comes in every single week. Anything else besides that? It's really a waste of time. It's a waste of time. So here's what we do, right? In the next 90 days, right? If you want to go chairman, put a C in the chat. If you want to go chairman, at least P5, but if you want to go chairman, put a C in the chat. How many people? Okay. Because today Lawrence put this call together, I'm going to give you the super duper hydroglyphic space shuttle rocket ship way to go to chairman. The secret, secret formula that these other teams have been hiding from us. I got the formula. I finally got it. I finally got it. I find, David, everybody, just they, they've been hiding the formula. I got the formula. Who wants the formula? People laughing. Oh, I, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. it was <laughs> Here's the formula, everybody. And I'm going to explain the formula, right? Because a lot of people still do not understand this, right? If you want to earn an extra $1,000 a month, $10,000, whatever it is, right? On the networking side, right? The trading side, everyone should understand how to get to the trading side. Complete the academy and get on Go Live TV. Pick out your style, whatever your tool, your software, whatever your program you're going to do. And then it's repetition, 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 repetition. Time after time and time, blow the account, okay. Revenge are okay. Get your mind right. That's how you learn how to trade. Repetition. You're not going to read any books, not going to watch any videos, and then all of a sudden, oh, I know how to trade. No, you got to get in there, push the buy and sell button, go through the mindset, the emotional roller coaster, all those things to get to trade. Everybody got that part, right? Th that's easy, right? Now, here's a part about getting an extra five, ten thousand dollars in your pockets every single month in the next 90 days. Here is the formula. And it's so simple that it's going to go over half of your, it can't be that simple. That, that's the secret. The secret is this, right? Peak in interest, showing the plan, and doing three-way calls, the trifecta, the triple. That's it. It's not the secret funnel. It's not the secret pitch. It's not the secret this advertising, uh, Google ads. No, no. It's that simple. Andre, why is it that simple? First of all, the reason it's that simple to go chairman, you're only looking for three individuals. We, we're doing this in over 100 countries, right? You're looking for three people. I found one of them and I met Jama Yangle over in the UK. Because of him, we got people like Kamala on here, Martin, uh, so, so many people, Netherlands, Scotland. One individual was responsible for Simon Charles, all these other people, right? Coach talked to me. I came in, I was responsible for bringing a lot of other people. You're looking for three individuals, one in each leg. People look at chairman as five, oh, 500 people, 500 people, you're just looking for three. If you find three people, you put one in each leg. And here's a great thing, ladies and gentlemen, they don't have to be personally sponsored by you. You can sponsor Pam, who sponsors Jake, who sponsors Lori, who sponsors Teresa. Teresa is the one. She is in that leg. Teresa goes to work, begins duplicating. Everything counts. That volume counts for you. And these people can be in over 100 countries, right? So once again, you're looking for three people. How many people on this call has hit the rank of P150 at least? If you've hit the rank of P150, put a 150 in the chat. If you've hit the rank of P150, put a 150 in the chat. Chrissy Pips, okay. Remy, what's up, Remy? Jonathan, okay, P150s, P150, awesome, awesome. If you've hit the rank of P150, you know what, congratulations. Everybody put a 10 in the chat, congratulate them. You know what that means? They've done something, they've taken the first step. Most people never even hit P150. How will you ever get the chairman if you can't hit P150? That's like you say, you know what, I wanna get this dream body, this dream physique, and we can't even get you in the gym, can't even get you on the track. It's not gonna happen, right? So guess what? A, a chairman is just a P-150 who didn't quit. I'm going to repeat that. A chairman is nothing more than a P-150 who didn't quit. Coach, you guys have heard his story. You know, there's a time he lost half the team. He could have quit and gave up. He kept going. You know what? As you go through the ranks, people come, people go, things happen. But a chairman is just a P-150 who did not give up on her or his goal and dreams. So if you've at least hit the rank of P-150, congratulations, 
you've already taken the first step. All you have to do is come hella high water, comes who died, who quit, who gave up, who said it was a scam. Just keep going, stay in the race. Don't stop running. That's all you have to do. And eventually you will get there. And I guarantee it. Andre, I think you guarantee it. Here's the reason why. Because people who are looking for opportunity, they're like dust. They're everywhere. The next Lawrence Young is out there. Uh, we got so many people on this call. I'm going to call everybody's name. But the next leaders, they are out there just waiting to hear the opportunity. They're going to come in and do it better than you. They're going to come in. Some of them are run right past you. They're hungry. They're ready. They're just looking for the right opportunity. All you want to do is become good at what? Networking, right? All networking is, I meet this person. They introduce me to this person, to that person, and we're networking. Everybody's a networker. If you've ever referred someone to something, someplace, a restaurant, movie, here, you've always been networking. You just weren't getting paid for it, right? So here's the play, right? 90 days, right? And ladies and gentlemen, this is what you have to do to complete the 90 days because what most people can't stay focused for 90 days, right? To get to 90 days, you have to do this for at least 22 days in a row. Put it 22 in the chat, 22 days in a row, 22. Andre, why 22? Because they found that anything we do for 22 days, it stores in our long-term memory. It becomes repetitious. We can do it automatically without thinking about it. So for 22 days, 22 is 22 is 22. Okay, great. Everyone is committing to at least 22 days. If you get to 22 days, keep going on another 22 days on to 90 days, right? This is all you're gonna do for 22 days, keeping it simple, right? Starting from day one, I'm gonna do this, right? Make a list of everyone you know, even people that you spoke to in 2020, right? Go back to these same people. Hey, you know what? I'm still doing this thing. Ask them, have you heard the news about Bitcoin? Yeah, I saw that thing. Yeah. I see what's going on with Bitcoin. That is proof, ladies and gentlemen. That's social proof. It's undeniable. That's why when people come to you and say it's a scam, go Google Bitcoin. It, I mean, it's all over the place. Coach sent me an amazing article today on Bitcoin, you know, an amazing article. All you have to do, this is one of those things, well, if I drink the juice, will I lose weight? Will I run faster? <laughs> will this happen if I look younger? Well, it may or may not, the FDA, uh, no, this is already living proof that's out there and the world is seeing it. So ask people that, pique their interest, right? Whatever you have to do, just go back, as coach said, not in a way you're begging them. As a matter of fact, go in there with your chest up, feeling good. Hey, listen, you know, 2020 was amazing. We just began 2021. Bitcoin is projected to go up to 140, possibly 150,000. You know, this information is changing lives. We're building wealth. Whatever it is, just simply peak interest. I say Bitcoin because Bitcoin is all over the news. Everyone knows about Bitcoin, right? When you peak their interest, all you want to do is this. Don't do a presentation yourself. Put them in front of a presentation. That can be on a website. That can be on our calls. We do twice a day, four days a week, 3 p.m. and 8 p.m., Put them in front of the information so they can sit back with their skeptical head on and hear it from other individuals other than yourself. Do you all understand that these calls are really three-way calls? These, that's what that is. That's getting our people that know us in front of other people that they don't know so they can hear the information in a different space, in a different mindset, right? So you're going to pique their interest, get them in front of the information, and then, ladies and gentlemen, do a three-way call, a three-way call. Everyone put a three in the chat, a three-way call. Now, I can tell you this, right? I know the majority of you on this call are not doing three-way calls. Andre, how do you know that? Because your numbers show it, right? If you're doing a lot of three-way calls, you have a lot of momentum going on on your company and your team. Now, I'm human. We all go through the phases where, okay, today we're not feeling up, we're not feeling down, I'm tired, I'm this, I'm that. But guess what? You want to begin a consistently for at least, what, the next 22 days. I'm not asking you to do this all year for six months, not even just the next 22 years, and I guarantee you, you're going to be amazed, right? Why are three-way calls important, right? First thing for you personally, three-way calls are going to help you gauge the activity in your team. The more three-way calls that happen, that means 
those people are peaking interest. A person doesn't do a three-way call if they're not showing the plan, if they're not peaking interest. It's not going to happen. So, oh, you know what? Tim has been doing a lot of three-way calls. That means Tim is peaking a lot of interest. Tim is putting a lot of people in front of the information. Well, you know, Pam, she's not calling me no three-way calls, just complaining about, you know, she lost money on your USD. That's it. Well, yeah, you can, you can tell right off the bat who's doing what. Here is why three-way park calls are crucial or critical. Here's one of the reasons, right? First off, right? Our friends and family, they know us, they love us, they may respect us, but they may not respect our business sense. We were doing lotions, juice, potions, teas, this, coffee, all these different things may have not had a level of success, right? So when you come to them telling them, hey, you know what? I'm going to be the next Bitcoin billionaire. You know, I'm trading in trillion dollar markets. I'm doing DCX, ECX, swipe one. They're like, what? That's for the banks, that's for the rich. You don't know anything about that stuff. So they already have a level of skepticism. How are you gonna make money like the banks? Turn your phone into an ATM. You're doing what? You know, it's gonna sound foreign to them looking at you. But when I say, you know what? This is new, they saw the information. Let me tell you about this guy, his name is Coach Young. No, we call him Coach. This man, he loves helping people. He's making a lot of money. You know, he knows 100% of these facts. And he's having a lot of fun. You know, he's very busy, but he or she, they've agreed, Chrissy Pips has agreed, you know, Ron, whoever has agreed to give us a few minutes of their valuable time so you can hear this information for yourself. That says a lot. You edify that person and you connect your person with the three-way call. Even if you just met the person on Facebook, put them directly connect. You know what that does? Once you edify this person and that person edifies you back in the eyes of your prospect, you now have a different level of view. They, wow, you know, Lawrence Young said all these great things about you. You know, Chris, said, whoever it is said these great things. So now your prospect is looking at you different because this person who you just edified is saying good things about you. And now your prospect is hearing the information from someone that they'll listen to. They won't listen to us. <laughs> Our negative friends and family, they know us. They know you. They won't listen to us, right? You want to put them in front of someone else. And most people, just like not completing the academy, they miss the part of the three-way call, not understanding the importance of a three-way call. Do you realize if you get just about five to 10 people in your team doing three-way calls every single day, that begins to build momentum and energy? Because guess what? I'm new. You sign me up. I, I do the same thing, peak interest of the plan. I begin to do three calls. Before you know it, you've got so many eyes getting in front of a presentation, getting the information that your team begins to grow. Another very important thing that three call does is this, right? Here's what the novice does, right? I'm speaking to, let me see, Alicia, right? Alicia is my prospect. I go to Alicia. I begin telling her all the great things about the company. I begin pulling up MT4 charts. Hey, you, let me show you this Fibonacci, this Elliott Wave, this GAN. Let me show you this, support and resistance. They begin looking at you like, what the? You have to go to school to learn all that? And we begin fire hosing with all the people, with all the information that we've learned, that we know. And we think that if we share all this information, that's going to impress the person or make the person want to do this. Always remember this, write this down, right? People are lazy. People are lazy. People are like water. They look for the path of least resistance. The more complex you make it, the more difficult you make it, the less people are going to want to even try to do what you're doing. I see people do it all the time. They go to people, oh, I'm sitting up there MT4 first. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. The person ain't even signed up yet. The person ain't even signed up yet. And they're doing, and the person's just looking at, you want to get them in the door first, give them enough information to make an educated decision, I'm in or I'm out. That's it. Get them in the door and then do all that. So the three-way call also does this, right? When I place Alicia on the three-way call with Lawrence, you know what? That takes the pressure off me. I'm not trying to convince. I can just put the phone on mute, sit back, relax. All I did, I put Alicia in front of the presentation and then I put her on a three-way call. 
I didn't have to go through the company, all this different stuff, none of that. The pressure's off me, I can sit back and relax. That's what your people want. If a person feels they got to give the whole presentation, they got to do this, they got to do that, most people aren't even going to do that. But anybody can say, Andre, go watch this video. Okay, I watched the video. Now, let me get you on the phone with this person on my team who is a 3A caller. That's all I have to do? Everybody can do that. That's keeping it simple. Kiss it. Keep it super simple. If you begin to duplicate that, you'd be amazed at your numbers. But once again, most people, they want to overcomplicate it. They want to give too much information. They don't have any duplication. You can be the best presenter. You could be the best, have the best PowerPoint, the best this, the best that. But if Johnny, Pam, James, Tim, if they cannot duplicate what you're doing, forget P5000, definitely forget chairman, you won't get there. You need that duplication. And I speak to people every day and they miss that part because they're overcomplicating a very simple process. Peak interest, show the plan, through a call. Who can do that? If you can do that, put an eight in the chat. Peak interest, show the plan, do a three-way call. Peak interest, show the plan, do a three-way call. Ladies and gentlemen, listen. By the age of 30, the average adult knows 2,000 people on a first-name basis. By the age of 30, the average adult knows 2,000 people on a first-name basis. Now, I know some of you are 21 on this call, and you haven't hit 30 yet, right? But here's what I want you to understand, right? Everybody in our phones, right, Samsung, Galaxy Note, Android, has enough people in your phone to go chairman. They're in your phones. The problem is, well, I'm not gonna call this one. I'm scared to call that one. I don't wanna know that one. Oh, that one, money can't call that one. Oh, that's the, I can't, but, and we preach, oh, they're rich already. They don't need money. They just bought a new car. They don't need money. They don't want to trade. They're selling juice, they're selling tea. And we overcomplicate, over-rationalize. Hey, you know what? Contact everybody and let them get in where they fit in. Do not prejudge. If you do that, I guarantee you, you will go to chairman. If you're online on social media, keep posting, getting information out. People need to see information seven to 11 times before they even pay attention to it. Once again, once you're doing all of that, dummy it down, keep it simple so everyone can do it. I see people, they got complicated systems. They're doing this. I say, well, that's good for you, but the average person can't do that. The average person doesn't even want to, you know what the average person wants to do? The average person wants to earn money, travel, go to movies, have a good time, get some drinks, get good food, go, that's what the average person wants to do. That's why it's been proven. If you gave a hundred people a business that was up, that was running, that was profitable, in two to three, in one to three years, 90% of those people would be out of business. They don't want the responsibility. So everyone on this call that wants to go chairman, you're the person that say, you know what? I'm willing to take the responsibility. I'm willing to do the calls. I'm willing to do three calls. I'm willing to do the things that other people aren't willing to do today. So tomorrow I can live the life that other people can't live. If you're willing to do that, all you have to do is find a few other people along with you who are willing to do the same thing. Ladies and gentlemen, listen, I tell people all the time, if I sign up 10 people, I expect eight of them to quit. Andre, that's a negative mindset. Why is that? No, those are the numbers. That's reality. That's because I understand the psychology of people. People are lazy. Miss Jones, you need to complete the I Am Academy if you want to know how to trade, Miss Jones. Well, Andre, can't you sit down with me for 30,000 different hours and show me everything or do the um, a mind meld machine to connect your brain and my brain so by osmosis, I can know everything overnight? No, Mrs. Jones, I'm here to work with you, but not work for you. You have to go through the information yourself, Mrs. Jones, to learn it, right? So here's the key thing, right? Once again, don't worry about the people who are making excuses, the people who are quitting, the people who are giving up, the people who are going to this company, that shiny object, they're selling this, they're doing this, they're giving it, all these different things. And you know what? By the end of this year, those same people, you'll see them on the merry-go-round. Going around, oh, you left that company, you're coming back around. I'm joining I am again, or I'm leaving I am again. I'm going to this, and they go round and round and round to all these different things, not realizing you know what? You got to plant your flag somewhere, make a determination. 
I'm going to do this. I can't tell you the amount of accounts I've blown trying to learn how to trade, the amount of different strategies that I've tried, but I kept persistent, persistent, persistent. If they're doing it, as Coach said, I can do it. And you know what? Just keep going, keep going. It's the same way with building. It's the same way. Things are going to happen, but you have to determine, you know what? I'm going to get there for my family for whatever the reason is. Our goals, have your goals up. This is 2021, a brand new year. Have the goals of your cars, your house. I spoke to someone today and they're telling me their team is getting ready to move to a whole different state. They're looking at the new places they're going to live in. This is getting built up. And I'm like, wow, look at that mindset. That's belief. That's a plan. <laughs> and she's on the call, matter of fact. <laughs> I said, that's a plan. Most people I talk to, they're like, Andre, if I could just make $100, you know, a month trading, you know, I I'd be all right. $100 a month, we're making that in minutes, $100 in minutes, seconds. Some people on this call made $100 in seconds, you know, the, the trillion dollar day markets, dream bigger, think bigger. Hey, coach said something very powerful, you know what? And I, I that hit me like a ton of bricks. He said for that $12,500 a week, you pretty much run through a wall, run through a wall. Who's ready to run through a wall? <laughs> put a one in the chat. If you're ready to run through a wall, put a one in the chat. A lot of walls getting torn down. A lot of walls breaking down. A lot of walls coming down. <laughs> a lot of walls are coming down. But listen, guys, we do these calls, right? And here's what happens after these calls, right? Coach will tell you, we get a lot of text messages. We get inbox. We get telegram. We get IG. You get, Man, I love that call. I needed it. I appreciate it. That was the bestest, bestest, everest, everest call I've ever heard, right? But here is the problem, right? Here's the situation. Most people, after they're inspired, they hear different, you know what most people do? Most people go back to being average and ordinary, go back to the same things they were doing in 2020. Well, I know, I know the eight o'clock call is coming up, but you know, I'm not gonna get on it. I'm not even gonna pique the interest of nobody to get on it. And they go back to doing the things that have nothing to do with them getting to the next level. Some of you, and I hope all of you, you're going to say, you know what? I'm going to go hard for the next 22 days. I'm going to put as many people as I can on that 3 p.m. call, that 8 p.m. call on 100chairman.com. I'm going to complete the academy. I'm going to get up, like on my job, and I'm going to get on go live and plug in with these educators. I'm going to find out who this Curtis Branch dude I keep hearing about. I'm going to plug in and get on his sessions and learn about FIB and Bitcoin I'm going to take this thing serious and really begin earning some money. Ladies and gentlemen, listen, if you're on this call, if you're on this team, straight up, if you're not making money trading, well, I'm going to put it like this. <laughs> you may not keep the money, but at least you better be making, earning some money because we got too many systems, too many trades, too many great people. I know some of you on this call are phenomenal traders. You're helping your teams. There are too many ways to earn profit. Now, you keeping the profit, that's a whole other thing because you can make $1,000 trading and give it all back to the market. That's a whole different thing about discipline and money management, all that different stuff, right? And the second part of that, right, with this amount of leadership, when all you, we got websites. I know some teams got websites. I, I built this site, cmprofits.com. Anybody can use it. People throughout the company use it. It's not quoted to me. Anybody can use that site. Put people in front of the information. Those of you who are great presenters and you're presenting, do your presentations. Teach your people how to do the same thing. Everyone, we got two bags of gold. Either you're making money in one or you're making money in both. My thing is, why not get both? Why not get both? Because guess what? When I'm not trading, I'm not, making, I'm not earning any money. I'm not earning any money when I'm not trading. But because I said, you know what? I'm going to pique the interest of Greg White of this person who piqued the interest of Rennie Marr, Johnny Oates, and it just goes on and on and on, that residual income continues to come in and benefit myself and my family, even when I'm not trading. And we wanna make sure that everyone on this team, we don't want anyone to get left behind. I know we got people on this call, some people are buying islands, some people are moving to islands, amazing testimonies, amazing. We wanna make sure that your testimony is the next one. We want to make sure that very soon when we do these calls, 
You guys are the one doing these calls. You guys are stepping up, sharing, leading. You guys are the one on the 3 p.m., the 8 p.m. As a team, we should not have to look for people to do the presentation on the 3 p.m. and 8 p.m. call. We should not have to look. People should be, hey, listen, I'm ready to do the presentation. I'm ready. Your team, your prospects, your people, sometimes they need, they need to hear your voice. They need to see you in the trenches. They need to hear you in a three-way call. Oh, what? I know this person. Is this a three-way call? They need to hear you. It's time to run, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to run. Listen, in closing, I want to say this, right? I'm super grateful and thankful for every person that's called, everyone on our team, all our great phenomenal leaders. And I believe this year is going to be our best year ever. At the same time, this, right? We can give you all the motivation, all the inspiration, all the tools. At the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, the reality is it's up to you to find a place and say, you know what? I didn't do everything I could have done last year. I didn't go hard enough last year. I listened to negativity. I listened to doubt. I listened to doubt in my own mind. You know what? I can't do it. This is for someone else. This year, I'm just going to go for broke. At least for 22 days, I'm going to see if this stuff Andre's talking about is real. I'm going to go all out for the next 22 days and see what happens. That's what I encourage everybody to do. Just go all out. Don't worry about it. As Lauren said, don't try to get perfect. Well, I don't know the right thing to say. Just say anything. Don't try to do perfect. You know, most people wait for perfection. Success loves one thing, preparation and execution. That's it. Not being perfect, right? You know, most people sit around, well, when I could speak or do this or do that, then I'll take action. And that day never comes, right? They're always getting ready to get ready. I can't tell you the amount of people that call me, Andre's 2021, I'm going to do this, 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 and this, and this, and this, and this. They tell me all the things they're going to do. But you know what? They never get in the game. They never get off the bench. They never get off the bleachers. They never begin doing the thing they should do, which is simply one foot in front of the other and take action. That's all we have to do. Today is what? Tuesday? Ladies and gentlemen, we got the 8 o'clock call tonight, right? Everybody commit to getting at least one person on that call. If you can do that, put a one in the chat. Put a one in the chat. At least one, not 10, not 30, one person. I don't care if it's your broke uncle, whoever it is, get one person, drag them and get on that call. So listen, you gotta hear this information. Just Kurt's, doing, Kurt's doing the overview tonight too, Hey, Boom, there it is, there it is. So you know what? Tell them this, listen, there's a young man. He is phenomenal. And he's educating people on the hottest income producing, wealth producing thing in the world right now. What is that? It's Bitcoin. Have you heard of it? Yes. Well, the guy who's a math, he's going to be on the call tonight telling you, not for me. This is for you, Pam, Uncle John, Mom, whoever. This is to help you learn how to create wealth. That's what I would do. And get them on that call. And when you get on the call, jump shot. That's him. That's the man. That's the oracle. That's that's him. That's him. <laughs> One time in the chat for Curtis. Put a C. For Curtis Cobrain Branch throwing it down tonight, doing his thing. Put a C. Big time, big time. Hey, hey I love everybody. Uh, back to you, Coach. There he is. There he is. Look at there legend. he is. Look at the <laughs> What's up, Kurt? What's good, family? What's good? <laughs> hey, I'm done, bro. Y'all take it over. I'm done. <laughs> hey, man. Kurt, Kurt man, he, he's going to be doing a presentation night at eight, guys. When I tell you last Tuesday, him and Chrissy shut this joker down. I mean, he had uh, over 100 people on at 8 o'clock. Listen, man, you're doing a fantastic job, man. And right now, just to see your leadership and everything happening for you, man, is just I'm just so proud of you, bro. I just got to tell you that. Oh, man, listen, I, I got real good examples, man. When I get to see Andre Campbell close out a call, I get to see you, you know what I'm saying, we drop these nuggets every week. It's, it's just throwing logs on the fire right now, man. I was uh, talking to some of my leaders the other day and uh one of my one of my partners he's been with me for a while he was like i'm gonna be real with you kurt like we've seen the change in you bro like you didn't turn into something different these last few years like it went from like hey let's get this bag to hey let's help everybody get the bag <laughs> and i'm like man but you you gotta look at who we running with right when you, when you see somebody like coach who doesn't have to do none of the stuff that he do i mean it's very hard for me to not get him to answer the phone sometimes i'll be like watch this y'all i'm about to call him watch you pick up watch you pick up like because i know he's gonna pick up like he just He's that dedicated to the team winning. Like when, when, I, when I got somebody like that running with me, listen, I, and I've tried businesses before, not, not anything like this, 
but like just you know personally just trying to start something up on my, on my own and working with a few friends and family you can't get people to do what he does you can't pay people to do what he does you know what i mean and for me that's like i want to i want to earn that kind of that kind of friendship that kind of mentorship i don't want to just be around him by osmosis like no 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 i want him to know like, i'm gonna earn your time i'm gonna earn your company you hold me in high regard i'm gonna show you you did the right thing by doing that so i'm gonna, I'm gonna bust my butt man we out here getting it done i gotta do another thing in a couple of minutes, man, we, me and the team innovating right now. We, we coming up with some new ways, but I'm just excited, man, to be here. And uh, real quick, I'm going to drop like a couple of nuggets for you guys because I really think that our team is, is phenomenal. Our family, our community is, is amazing. And I think it's important that you stay close to the fire. And I'll be, I'll be the first one to tell you guys I wasn't doing that in the beginning. I was not doing that in the beginning. Coach was getting on me every day like, listen, I'm here. Utilize me. Please, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm available to help you. And I'm like, yeah, I know, coach, I'm going I'm to I'm get it together. But me being Kurt, I want to be smart. I want to figure it out. And I was shooting myself in the foot. I was, I was shooting myself in the foot. It's like, it's like you got, you know, Jeff Bezos hitting you up saying, hey, you know, I got your back. All you got to do is give me a call. Yeah, I know, Jeff. I'm going to figure it out, though. Like, what are you doing? You don't get on the phone with Jeff. <laughs> you don't get on the phone with Jeff and get this thing done. So I'm just saying, guys, stay close to the fire. Stay plugged in like really really utilize what this man is telling you right now i'm being real with you because i i didn't it took me a while and listen me and my team we've been building i want to say for the last almost eight months eight or nine months like hardcore just really going in it's almost been a full year of us really just deep diving and i mean chrissy pip she's just hit p1k right i got two leaders right now that just hit p600 another one that's been p600 right i got a couple up and comers i got a couple uh, 150s just popping up right now i, I mean i mean and think about this guys we are in a position where financial literacy <laughs> is about to be the golden ticket. Financial literacy is about to be the golden ticket. Because there's no job out here that's giving you guaranteed pandemic proof, right? Right. We, we, we literally just watched Olympus is fall in part two at the Capitol building. We just watched that. That happened in real life. I was waiting for the actor to show up and save Trump. I was like, he's gonna, he gonna come out any minute. He's gonna fall from a helicopter. It's gonna be some kind of dramatic music. It was like watching a movie. It didn't make no sense. Okay. Now understand that our country is gonna go through a lot of crazy things. We're gonna have all kinds of distractions. It, it's, it's gonna line up, but the stars will align for a selective few. I'm gonna say that one more time. The stars are going to align for a selected few. Some people who are thinking, I'm just going to get another job and another job and another job, and I'm going to be okay. Not wealthy, not, not, not exceedingly abundant. I'm going to get four or five jobs. I'm going to be okay. Like, no, we got a real life opportunity to come here and knock this thing out the park. Now, some of you guys and gals in here may be saying, well, Kurt, I don't come from a background where I plugged into a lot of friends and family. I don't have a lot of people I can talk to about. Listen, me neither. My mom, she's the only child. My dad, I barely know that guy, all right? I don't have family to tap into. So everything I'm doing right now, I'm building my family, guys. I'm bi I got brand new brothers and sisters right now I'm running with. I got brand new aunties and uncles I'm meeting every week, right? Kathy K, that's my auntie. She, my never, listen, that's my auntie. That's my million dollar auntie right there, right? I got Andre Campbell, that's my brother in Florida. I gotta go hang out with bro. You know what I mean? But these are the things, right? You're gonna be rich by association before you become rich monetarily. That's how it goes. You're going to be rich by association first, and then you're going to be rich monetarily, right? But let's, let's, let's get to the facts, right? There's some things I want you guys to really start doing, and these things are 100% free. doesn't matter if you've got a certain level of talent. I want you to write these things down real quick, and I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Ladies and gentlemen, there are a few things that you can do right now. I'm going to give you seven things you can do right now that are going to allow you to have success if you do these seven things, okay? Number one, be on time. It takes absolutely no talent to be on time absolutely none whatsoever to be on time ladies and gentlemen i think it's important that you take your time and the people that you're working with time serious all right number two is apply effort okay effort is everything and thing is effort ain't got nothing to do with nobody else but you right effort is you versus you flat out you can't blame effort on nothing else all right number three is have a positive attitude Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we, we, we can do a lot of things. We can grunt and gripe and do all of that, but we want to make sure we got the right kind of energy when we're doing things, right? Having a positive attitude can take you very far. When you're in a room full of people that's complaining and you're, you're doing with a positive attitude, people pick up on that stuff, right? That could be the deciding factor from staying broke to getting a million dollar, a million dollar friendship started, okay? Positive attitudes are a, I'll go a long way. 
All right, listen, when I meet somebody, if you got a positive attitude, I'm willing to work with you, right? Everything else in your life could be going wrong, but if your attitude is right, I'm willing to go that extra mile with you, all right? Number four is have good body language. It takes no talent to have good body language, okay? You don't want to be around people trying to talk to them. You all slumped over. You laid all sideways, right? You're looking down. You have bad posture, right? Have really good body language. It takes no talent to do any of these things that I'm naming right now. Everybody can do these things. All right. All right. Listen, number five, go the extra mile. Go the extra mile. It's worth it. I don't care if you don't get the reward the first time, the second time. Just go the extra mile. That is one of my shining traits that I hang my hat on. If anybody knows me, they'll tell you, oh, Kirk, gonna go the extra mile for you. If you've ever been in one of my sessions on Go Live, two hours later. You looking like, we've been here for two hours, bro. Kurt ain't shut up yet, right? Two hours go by real fast when we do our go lives. All right, fam? But that's the extra mile. Like, people tell me, no no other educators going two, two hours in a session. No educators going two hours a session. Listen, I'm willing to do that, right? I feel like Tom Brady. I'm going to earn this I'm gonna earn this education slot every single week. Hey, Kurt, I'm going to earn my Kurt, job every single week. Kurt, repeat the two hours later thing. How'd you say it? <laughs> two hours later. <laughs> if, you, if you got kids you know about that spongebob y'all know <laughs> y'all already know how it go all right all right listen number six be, be being prepared is a huge deal right if lawrence calls you in and says hey i need you to overview this weekend or, or this week what you gonna say oh i i don't have the presentation uh I, I, the, the slides oh man i just my zoom ain't paid for i ain't got uh, uh like he can be putting you into a position where you can get 500 signups in one presentation. You're not ready to do it. You're not prepared. You haven't prepared for the moment. Listen, this is the important. Listen, when coach gave me an opportunity to teach in front of a class, I went, he said, I'm gonna let you teach this week at the class. I was up for two days straight, taking notes and getting ready to teach. Okay. I wanted to be prepared not only for myself, but I wanted coach to be proud of the fact that he gave me that opportunity. All right. I give him a shout out for the, every time he gave me that first shot of teaching the class in front of everybody at a presentation. Me and Benny shared the stage, man. It was lit. <laughs> All right. All right. And last but, but not least, have a very strong work ethic. Have a very strong work ethic, right? If coach tells you to do something, just do it. I'm just, listen, take it from me. I was the most hard head genius in the, on the planet. I thought I knew everything. I'm, I'm going to do this. I'm going to be the best. This, that. Listen, I had to get out of my own way. And co everything coach told me took me a whole year and a half to get out of my own way to listen to this man. I wasted a year and a half not following what he said. Here I am, eight, nine months later, and I'm knocking on the door of P5K, right? Finally listening to him, and I'm knocking on the door of P, not even a year, right? Within this year, I'm going to hit chairman because I listened to him. It's, it, it, I listen, he, and the thing is, he's not even going to twist your arm to do it. He ain't going to twist your arm to make no money. He ain't going to twist your arm to follow him, listen to him. He's going to lay it right on the table and say, this is what I need you to do. Calm as, calm as can be, like it don't even matter, like this is what I need you to do. And he's going to look right at you and he's going to watch you flinch. He's going to watch you flinch. Because he's waiting for you to flinch. He, his, his favorite saying, I, I hear it in my, in my head, whenever I get tired, show me, don't snow me. Every time. Every time I'm like, listen, I got to step up. I told Coach, man, I'm, I'm headed for Chairman 50, man. We got we to sit at the table and have some kind of conversations, man. Yeah. Yep. Hey, man, it's I, just, I just think it's important that people in this company, they get a chance to see what we have over here at Rich Girls Trade, Rich Guys Trade, too. And I think they get they, they need to really see the, the effort that goes into this family that we have. Because I've I've done sessions for Trey House. I've done them for other other teams all over the all over the company. I've talked for almost every chairman inside of the company. They want me to come in, especially now with crypto being hot. And they don't do what we do. They don't have what we have. I, I'm being 100 percent real. This locker room talk, they don't do this like this, right? You you would get some, you know, YouTube video rehashed, and that's it. Right. Somebody said that's something that they didn't say 19 times over. And it's for a bunch of people that just signed up. We get organic. Andre and coach are dropping organic. This, this is where they at every day. This is what we're doing. This is what it is. This is what we need you guys to do. If you say you want this, be about that action. Right. Don't be here. Just, oh, man, I love to just be on a call because it's so cool to hear Andre and coach talk. I get so motivated and excited, man. And then when I get off the call, I go sit back and I watch YouTube for three hours and I go to sleep. You didn't talk to anybody. You didn't invite anybody. You didn't do anything. You sat there and then you should have, you should have, you should have, and then you should have all over yourself because that person you were supposed to talk to went and signed up with somebody else. That person you were supposed to peak 
didn't go and do that, right? And those seven things I just gave you takes zero talent to do. You don't have to have some kind of crazy esoteric, you know, uh, what is it, Toastmaster skills to do what I just gave you guys. You can sit down and do all of that right now. And that should be duplicatable to even your two and freeze, right? To my P150s, to my P600s, to my P1Ks. All that should be, that, that should be standard in the culture of your team, right? Positive body language, right? Going the extra mile, right? Having a good work ethic. Like, these are the things you want to, you, if, you, if you can go through here and have a person sign up every day on your team with all seven of those, you will be a chairman. No problems. Okay, so now with that being said, if you need somebody to come in and do that, why, why are you not exuding these same qualities in your team? Why are you not living by duplication? What's the, what's the issue? What are we talking about? You got six and seven finger earners at your fingertips and you still not tapping in? Quit playing with me, man. Stop playing with me. Like, I'm just, I'm just being real. I'm not trying to be militant, but I'm trying to put a, a real call of action on y'all because it took me a year and a half to wake up. I was getting my bag trading, but this is bigger than just me getting my bag. I can facilitate some, some success for people I haven't even met yet. It's time to get it done. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and go. I got some things I got to handle. I got people waiting on me, man. Coach, I appreciate you. Let me just drop a couple nuggets real quick, man. Thank you so much. Hey, drop, drop some sevens for Kurt, man. Drop some sevens for Kurt. For, for Kurt. Sorry, for church. Uh, for <laughs> well, you actually went to church on them. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> but you know what, though? Hey, listen, before we jump off real quick, man, I just got to give mad props to uh, Chrissy Pips, man. You know, you've been working with this young lady and to watch her progression. Is nothing short of amazing, man. She does like, like I was on her presentation earlier and that just goes to show you, I could be doing other things, but I'm, I'm on her presentation because I still want to learn and get better. And man, she does, when I say she bodied that call, man, I mean, this is ridiculous, man. So, you know, let's, let's show some love for Chrissy real quick for her just hitting P1000. She's retired. Yeah, uh, that P1K. Listen, <laughs> listen, she's retired guys and doing this full time. Let's, let's show her some love. Chrissy, you want to say a few words on what's happening with you? <laughs> Listen, I was on a call earlier with Andre. I consistently get told, like, plug in, plug in, plug in. So we have some phenomenal leaders that are on our side, right? Coach, phenomenal leader. Tam, phenomenal leader. Andre, phenomenal leader. Cobain, phenomenal leader and educator plug in like plug in one of the things that i remember that andre said was that he wished that he had have started building when he started in the beginning because it takes so much pressure off of just learning learning and like we just had a question in clubhouse like what do you what do you say would be the best route and we're like we'll learn to trade but learn to share the opportunity because the reason why you're learning to trade is because you're getting that additional income coming into your house. Share the opportunity so you can get that additional income coming into your house. It makes one less strenuous than the other one. And I'm I'm happy. Like, I'm happy to be in this space. Like, we have some phenomenal leaders. Every time I talk to Coach, I get some value. Every time I talk to Andre, I get some value. Every time I talk to Tam, I get some value. Every time I hop on one of Cobain's sessions, I get some value. So... Plug in, plug in, plug in, plug in. That's like the biggest thing that I've, I keep hearing. I'm going to do much better on three-way calls because I feel I came from a, an industry where I was in sales. So closing is not hard, but it's not whether or not it's hard. It doesn't matter how easy it is to you. The edification is the part that we forget about. We want to get people in. Like Coach said, your friends and family don't respect your opinion. They don't, they don't respect your opinion. So get people who they can plug into, who they can see, like people putting you up on those pedestals, right? Plug in. Like that's that I'm going to plug in. I've heard you guys. Y'all don't got to yell at me no more. Keep beating me overhead. I got it. I got it. I'm a plug in. Okay. When Kurt asked me to plug in with Lawrence and Tam and do these chairman 100 calls, I did it. I don't regret it. And I love these calls. OK, plug in, just plug in. It's, it's actually easier than what you think. We have things and systems in place to help you get acclimated to plugging in. Plug in like I love y'all, though. Oh, man, we, we definitely appreciate it. Let's show some love for Chrissy, guys. Drop, drop some sevens in the chat, man, for a P1000 uh, rank. Uh, drop some sevens in the chat, guys, so we can see the gratitude. 
And trust me, your time is coming. All we have to do is just keep on plugging in, guys. Also, guys, drop some fire emojis if you got some value out of this call today. I'll make sure I get this recording out to you guys as soon as it, it uh, loads in. Drop some fire emojis if you got, if we touch some souls today. So listen, next week, just want to let you guys know, well, first off, tonight, 8 o'clock Eastern time, Curtis Cobain is going to, Curtis Cope busy is going to break down the presentation night at 8. You guys plug in with guests. Uh, tomorrow, we got Tavis, uh, Tavis and uh, Bashari. Hey, listen, we got a lineup, guys, a second to none. Three o'clock and eight o'clock Eastern time plug in. Also on Thursday nights. Listen, if you don't have your women tapped into the Rich Girls Trade Call with Miss Tamara Young on Thursdays, you're missing the boat. When I tell you, that's like our flagship call where women come together and it's, it's just like a party for women. It's off the freaking charts. So Thursday night at eight o'clock, make sure you tune in. And also um, next week, uh, we're gonna have uh, myself and uh, Chairman, uh, what I call the Freedom Fighter, Mr. Dwayne Lodge. Chairman Ten is gonna be on the call with me. And we're gonna we're gonna drop some bombs, have some fun. So again, guys, these calls are just meant to help you navigate those landmines, help you get the mindset right, and just go out there and be great. So you know, it's not a call that I do that I don't close it out with some fire type sounds. So listen, we gonna have a party. Listen, guys, I love you guys. See you guys at the top, or I see you from the top. Let's go get it. Let's go get it. <laughs>